right, so um, uh, this Saturday I'm going for um, FKT. I'm reluctant to say that because uh, I should be just saying I'm going for a long run. But um, yeah, the, the, I, it, it looks doable. Uh, no disrespect for the current holders. I'm also a little bit apprehensive because I've just had my jab at two o'clock today. It's eight o'clock now. Uh, I think I feel all right, I feel tired. It's Wednesday today. How's the friend? Uh, yeah, so Saturday morning is the plan. Anyway, it's um, Kinder Luke. I, I've never heard of it, actually, to be honest. Uh, I found it on fastestknowntime.com. It's 86, 87 kilometers, about two and a half thousand meters of elevation gain. You can start it wherever you want. I'm choosing to start it in Hayfield. Um, yeah, kind of excited. Anyway, I thought I'd run through my plan, the gear I'm gonna use. Now, if you have access to a graphic designer or you are one, uh, it's really useful to make one of these. Started off as a, as a plan making the GPS loop. I chose Hayfield because it's closest to me and in these covid -y times, that seems like the right thing to do, at least start and end somewhere that's close. It happens to, by going anti-clockwise, it happens to put most of the harsher terrain in the first half which puts the makes the second half a little bit physically easy but easier but maybe mentally boring so there's the profile really good way of planning things starting off with the elevation profile work out where you need to be at certain points i've put a a constant flat pace across that of well 11 hours really the current best time is 11 45 i'm aiming for 11. i've also put a 10 hour pace on there which is absolute nonsense so gear gear i'm currently testing the kind of uh, crazy montane gecko ultra b super lightweight comfortable uh, running vest uh, i'm not actually gonna use that it's good but i've got wait there i've got uh, an s lab this is the sense five no it's eight sense eight god okay well it's super light anyway i've got loads of the um, slim flasks that come with salomon uh, vests so it makes sense because then i can be passing between me and my um mules paces uh different bottles it totally makes sense great as well i really like it so um yay so i sh should say i'm doing it supported so i've got runners with me most of the time in fact the current holder max driscoll thanks max he's coming to never met him before but he's coming to help me on the middle section so yes yeah, so i'm i'm super minimal with all this gear it's as, as light as i can make it really very lightweight montane polygeny top that won't smell don't run commando underwear pants no chafing the greatest if not the most ridiculous shorts ever made i forgot what they're called i'll, I'll put it up on the screen these are kind of this is salomon going nuts really <laughs> they um they're slightly compressive shorts, but they compress in all the right areas and not in this gentleman groin area where there's like a vertical slot for um, relaxation. Hmm. They are amazing. They are <laughs> genuinely amazing. And luckily they've got this bit that goes over the top of it to, um, yeah, tidy everything up. Crazy, crazy lightweight. Everything's very red. I will carry, always carry some gels and bars, but not a lot. I'll have a runner with me carrying heavy stuff. That runner will also be carrying any safety kit. I'll probably have a windproof or something in that pack. But uh, apart from that, I want to keep the weight down. So shoes, I'm going to go for the trail fly. I was thinking of the North Face Flight Vective, which are, which are really good, but the shape doesn't quite fit me. And I think I'm going to have a after a long run, some rubbing issues. These definitely won't. I've had a few good runs in these now. I need to do a review of these actually. I will potentially swap to Trail Ultra G270, just because the middle section is, I think it requires a little bit more of a nimble shoe and that's what these are. So a bit lighter as well, but I think over that uh, middle section, which for me is uh, if anyone knows the area, Lady Bower, Cutgate, uh, all the way up to Penis Tip, Peniston. I'll then probably go back into these for the last third, which will suit the Trans Pennine Trail, I think. They'll just, again, be really good at motoring along. So that's it. Red and green. A bit Christmassy. 
Um, I'm excited, am I? Yes. Is this a good idea? I don't know. Right, it's 20, just over 24 hours inside my COVID jab, AstraZeneca. I feel pretty crap. So I'm not sure now whether I'm going to be doing it, but it's Wednesday, midday, two o'clock-ish. Guess it's not impossible. Fluey, fluey feeling. Sad face. Look after your gear.